Hey folks, back again with more ukuleles, you know me. A couple of different brands to tell you about today. The first one, I don't know if you can see this, it's G Great. And if that sounds familiar to you, I did have a video on G Great guitars a while back. If you watch my channel regularly, I had a couple of uh, full mahogany guitars and a cedar, um, sorry, a spruce and rosewood dreadnought that was made by G Great and they're just mostly distributed in Australia although they are Chinese made and this is a ukulele by the same uh, company it's all flame maple it's reasonably good uh, make uh, got aquila strings on it bone nut saddle rosewood board bridge kind of cheap looking uh, tuners on it but it functions really well Flame maple, paper, sorry, flame maples are good hardwood uh, for ukuleles. Um, uh, sounds just as good to my ears as most Koa models, and um, this certainly is uh, nicely bound. I guess they call it cowrie shell. It's probably plastic, but it's uh, kind of a tortoise shell type, type of uh, inlay on the binding. Um, yeah, good, uh, good make, and I think G Great and Kapok the same company because I've seen guitars uh, that are exactly the same build, manufacturing everything with interchangeable logos. So I think there's a relationship between those two companies. So that's the G-Great ukulele. Uh, the second one I wanted to show you is also a tenor. And I've got three to show you of this particular brand. This is also a um, flame maple and this is a brand called Diana. And I've run into a few of these lately. It's a nice sort of uh, classic headstock with a, 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 a sickle moon on there. It's quite, quite nicely done. And I think this, if you look at the two back to back, you'll see the flame maple here is probably stained. This is a, a more uh, natural flame maple, which I kind of like. Really nice maple in the back, book matched uh, mahogany neck. Uh, and it's similar to the G Great, although I think it's a little better build quality. Diana's are quite nice. Um, I found a few of these and I'll show you the, uh, the uh, concert models that I have uh, in these beautiful rose colored bags uh, just for you gentlemen. And um, no, it wasn't being sexist really. Uh, I had somebody, a customer come and just couldn't deal with, a male customer couldn't deal with this rose colored gig bag so I had to go find him a black one. Uh, <laughs> to appeal to his masculinity. Anyway, uh, here's some color ones, and these are the same Diana, uh, the same headstock, uh, open gear tuners on the back, nice uh, acacia color design, very, very simple, just a, a, a faint um, rosette on there, but no, no edge binding, I like that uh, very classic look. Uh, very nice little yips, these. Just set them up so they're still stretching out. And even with uh, the camera mic, you'll hear a different quality in sound. Of course, it's smaller; it's pushing pushing less air, less volume. It's a concert, not an antenna, but um, also the wood gives it a different sound. Um, these are nice. I really like these Diana uh, colors and also the maples. And here's one with a pickup on it, an electric ukulele. I get people asking me for these, so I'm sure this will be gone as soon as I list it. It's the same ukulele. Uh, I'll put model numbers on the uh, description uh, with this little very simple two slider preamp and it's just bass and, uh, sorry, volume and tone uh, on that. And these come with uh, strap buttons on them as well. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that personally, but people ask for it, so uh, it's always nice um, 
if somebody wants to use a strap that has uh, them on there. But these are, I really like these uh, Diana Ukes. The G-Grade is fine, uh, but I think the Diana is slightly better build quality. And I'm going to see if I can find more of these um, because I think they're put together really nice. It's got a very nice color, very nice uh, uh, figure there in the wood. So there's two more models for you, uh, sorry, two more brands for you. G Get Great Ukuleles and Diana, named after a Roman goddess, of course. Um, look out for them, I think they're pretty nicely made. If you can pick them up cheap or if you want to buy one that's already set up, just hit my reverb page or uh, message me and I'll sort you out. See you next time.